Do you love this game? I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door. They're just going to slam it right in our face. We are who we are when nobody's watching. If you want to know who you really are, be on your own. Go somewhere on your own, on holiday or whatever, and you that's who you are. I found it years ago. Most people are missing something because they don't know who they are. They never examine themselves. They, they've never done this experiment on themselves. You create your own self. There's so much in you that you have not un unlocked. Do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die a dreamer? Will you die on the verge and on the edge and in the land of coulda, woulda, and shoulda? It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Misery will always have company. Success breeds contempt. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than you are God, then neutralize everything he put in you. Just fit in with everybody else. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do. And once you've neutralized your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. For some of you, it took courage to come to this conference. It takes courage to get you outside of the bar. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're going to talk about you. Do you have the courage to stand there though the storms keep raging and the people get to talking and you stand there and say, I've come too far to turn around? That's your girlfriend and say, do you have the courage? Success is not how far you got. Because, see, you're going to be disappointed all the time. Because somebody always further than you. So now you'll forever be disappointed. Success ain't how far you got. Success is how far you got from where you started. You got to chase that dream before you die, man. You should go and live your dream. Just go see. God puts your real life in your imagination. That's where your real, your real life ain't in your present circumstance. Your real life is not in your current situation. Your real life is not in your paycheck. Your real life, he tucks it away in your imagination. Not every single day is gonna be this killer day. Sometimes I wake up and uh, I feel great. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, everybody, I wanna burn this motherfucker to the ground. But here's the difference. When I feel like that on the second day, I wake up and you know what I do? The same shit I would do on the days that I feel great. In life, people don't burn out because of what they do. People burn out because life makes them forget why they do. But when the purpose is intact, when the mission is intact, when it's about something greater than themselves, the opposition, the adversity, and the challenges are part of the journey. That's what life should be is a mission. That's what gives your life purpose and focus and drive and ultimately satisfaction. This is how you know you're not living in your gift. If when the alarm clock goes off in the morning and you ain't happy about it, you ain't doing what you want to do. See, you're fighting upstream. You're going against what God created you for. If your job makes you sick to go to, if you're unhappy with waking up to go to where you got to go, it's because you ain't living in your gift. Eventually, inaction will cost you. But your default setting should be, I'm going to do something. Just get up, move towards that challenge, and go attack it. Go do something that's hard. If you want freedom in your life, you have to have discipline. Move towards that challenge, whatever that challenge is. And you may be successful, and you may not be successful, but you will be better. And the next challenge, you can be more prepared for. I never knew that the way people described you would become a prison until they did it.
you are at your best when you are authentic to your core and you have to be what you are, not what they call you. And what happens in life as we evolve as a person, we cannot allow ourselves to be incarcerated by anything that people would describe us with because we limit then what the Holy Spirit can do in your life. Find a thing you like. Try to find a thing that you really enjoy. Try to find a thing that you're passionate about. Like an activity. Yes. For me, early on, it was drawing. It was uh, illustrations. It was uh, comic books. I wanted to be a comic book illustrator. And then it went from uh, comic book drawing and illustrations to um, martial arts. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Not a lot of people can understand that. Time is not the main thing. Time is the only thing. What it is that you're doing with your time today. You know what? If you look at it, if you really look at it, all of us are basically the same. The only difference is how you use your time. We all get exactly the same amount of time. Exactly. See, the truth is we don't know how much time we've got. But we know we're here and now, and the only thing we've really got is what's right here in the center. If we want to enjoy more of life, we've got to give everything we've got right now. Your life seems like it's going to last forever, and I will tell you right now, it's not going to last forever. And those years go by like a summer's day. And the next thing you know, you look up and you're 36 years old or you're 44 years old and that time's gone you cannot get it back you cannot get time back so those dreams that you have those goals that you have don't put them off another second not one second get on them and go out and make them happen starting right now when we go through a time of chaos, when we go through a time of rejection, when we go through a time of feeling like nobody cares about us, and everybody hates us, the world is against us, you have to remind yourself that this is just you telling yourself things that are absolutely untrue. The world doesn't hate you. It's not the world. It's one situation that you are making into the world. The reality of a situation oftentimes is very hard but oftentimes the reality of the situation is not as bad as it seems. You're going to lose sleep. You'll doubt whether it'll work. You'll stress to make ends meet. You won't finish your to-do list. You'll wonder whether you made the right call and have no way to know for years. This is what hard feels like, and that's okay. Everything worth doing is hard. And the more worth doing it is, the harder it is. The greater the payoff, the greater the hardship. If it's hard, good. It means no one else will do it. More for you. Life doesn't happen to you. Life happens for you. Opportunities will come to you every day. It's either for you, you can remain scared of the opportunities or you can embrace them and take them. Do something that you don't know if you can accomplish. Do that thing that you don't know if you can do. Stop being afraid of hard work. Every single person who wants to do something with their life and has done something with their life has gone through the exact chapter that you're going through, and it's the lonely chapter. You're going to lose sleep. You'll doubt whether it'll work. You'll stress to make ends meet. You won't finish your to-do list. You'll wonder whether you made the right call and have no way to know for years. This is what hard feels like, and that's okay. Life is going to hit you with a certain level of opposition and it's going to test your will and it's going to test your heart and life is going to say to you, you said you wanted it, now let's see how bad you really want it. And then once we hit that wall, we don't quit, we don't give up. We push a switch called will and we start using our willpower. Yes, we tired. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached a goal yet. While you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. 
You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you will lose and I will win. <laughs>